Morning all, I'm Jake Brown bringing you this week's three minute update from Burton, Ohio, home of the great Geauga County Fair. You know, not only is this fair the oldest in the state, celebrating its bicentennial this year, it is also home to the Scout Building where the Scouts have showcased their efforts within the Geauga County area for generations. That's what's behind me. And truly folks, I think this is one of the best places on earth in my opinion, because you can register for Scouts, pet a horse, and eat fried cheese on a stick all in the same hour. What a swinging deal that is. Hey, and speaking of swinging deals, let's talk about everything you need to know this week to be the best scouters you can be. We have updates on Wilderness Engineers Weekend, fall recruitment reminders, this week's Good Scout shoutouts, Cub Scout activities, Scouts BSA activities, training updates, certificate of insurance requests, YPT reminders, and this week's pro tip. There are fall camperies at Firelands and Beaumont this autumn, so be sure to register today. Early bird prices will be gone before you know it. You should contact John Schrock with any questions. Cub Scouts, there are Weeblows Woods, Cub Haunted Weekends, Fun Days, and Overnighters, as well as Holidays at Camp Weekends to look forward to the rest of this year. And remember, Cub Leaders, Cub Scouts is all about getting families the chance to do fun things together, just like go to camp. So promote them all today and register now. Let Grace Pro Rock know if you have any questions and join us in our great outdoors. Additionally, if your troop is interested in service hours, email Grace to help staff the Cub Haunted Weekends. We still need all the ghouls, ghosts, and goblins to make it happen. The NYLT Wood Badge Alumni Dinner is still September 17th. There's still time to register. That registration is live. And now for this week's Good Scout shout-out. Last weekend, Scouting for Food totals came to 2,835 pounds and 95 participants in Scouting for Food across the council. And we thank everybody who participated. But we know that everybody did not upload their totals yet. And yes, we know who you are. So please check out this link to upload those totals, and we'll do an updated uh, amount next week. Training still abounds in plenty this fall, as there's still time to register for Scoutmaster Basic, Baloo, Mobile Climbing Wall, Range Master, and Games Trainings. All of these will add to your skill set and get you even more excited to be in scouting as a leader. Wilderness Engineers Weekend is at Beaumont, September 23rd through 25th. This is a chance to roll up your sleeves and get dirty, helping keep camp beautiful and safe into the winter. Volunteers do need to be 21 years of age or older, and expertise with heavy equipment, chainsaw safety, or any trade is certainly welcome. But even if you're not skilled in those trades, but are still able to use some hand tools, there are projects for you indeed. Contact Chris Fortunato with any questions. Did you know certificates of liability insurance are sometimes required by outside organizations for scouts to host activities or events on their grounds? These riders are just one of the many services we provide as a council. So if your unit is ever asked for one, please email lecmembercare at scouting.org to request it. Also, a friendly reminder to all unit leaders, your youth protection training cannot lapse for longer than 30 days. If it does expire for longer than that, your registration will be terminated, potentially putting your unit's charter in jeopardy. So don't wait! Renew your YPT before it expires. Don't forget to go to lecbsa.org slash membership dash resources to get all the pamphlets, flyers, and join nights and school talks scheduled for you this fall. And lastly, folks, this week's pro tip, online adult applications need, and I'm going to say that again, need adults' legal names to be present on the application. I'm Jake Brown to my friends, but the government knows me as Jacob Brown, and that's what I put on my application. So when folks are filling out adult applications, make sure that their legal name is what's registered there, because if it's not, then we might have an issue running their background check and it'll just hold up the whole process. So that's the pro tip, and that's the weekend, uh, the three-minute update for this week. Wow, folks, sorry. Thanks for all you do. Thanks for being you. Hey, we'll see you next time. Take care.